Not only is Catch Em All fishing a bad Aquarius, but he's also a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I had no idea those things were so fierce. He put a hamster underwater with the fishies. Why are you doing that to that fish? She's gonna walk around all day like that? I got some fish in my fridge. Welcome to the channel everybody. I'm on reddit.com. Gonna go through these little posts here. This is from the subreddit of shitty aquariums. If you guys want me to react to posts on another website, maybe some forums, maybe some videos, let me know down below in the comments of what you want me to react to. But for right now, I'm gonna be reacting to these posts. All right, so this one here says that this guy I know posted this on his Snapchat. So yeah, it looks like we got a bunch of rosy red minnows in a very small tank. Doesn't seem like they are doing too bad, but something tells me me that in the long run they are going to die rosy red minnows are really sensitive and they're usually bred in harsh conditions so they're already off to a bad start them being in that aquarium like that that small doesn't look like they are going to last too long but maybe he has them in there for feeders we don't know i don't know the context behind this video all i know is that they are in a incredibly small aquarium oh wow somebody's talking smack about catch them all fishing not only is catch them all fishing a bad aquarius but he's also a bitch every once in a while you will run into people on here who do talk smack about youtubers this one here says 100% safe for fish so we got a fish tank lamp that says it's 100% safe for fish I don't know if I want to say it's safe what if there's a malfunction there's a lot of risks in that but I wouldn't know from personal experience because I've never used one the idea seems cool but it's like there's not really too much fish that you can put in there there's some airline tubing in here too so I wonder if there's some sort of filtration that's going on in there I doubt you can put anything in there maybe a beta but even then a beta should have at least like a 5.5 gallon tank and above you don't want to cram a beta in a small container like that this one here says poor goldie so one of the most abused fish in the hobby are goldfish and it's because they're cheap and I would say this is kind of uh, abuse I mean, you don't want to keep a goldfish in a uh, glass teapot. I don't even think that's a real teapot. It's just, it looks like it's antique. But yeah, that goldfish could definitely be in a better aquarium. That's for sure. This Super Bowl aquarium. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Who did this? Oh, it says uh, Fish and Pets Unlimited. Shout out to you, man. That is an awesome looking aquarium. And those fish are very beautiful, by the way. How did you manage to get those helmets on the uh, flower horns there? That's a really cool idea. Shout out to you, man. Alright, this one here says, Found this poor guy in my local fish store. Was in a tank with pearl garamis and looks like they tore off his fins. Kept swimming upside down, too. Oh, man, that is horrible. I don't even know what type of fish that is. Just like many other fish that I come across, I don't know what they are. But yeah, you can tell that the fins have been completely torn off. Garamis did that? Man. His tail fin is completely cut off. His All of his fins are completely cut off. I'm surprised he's still able to swim. And also in the title, it says that he was swimming upside down. So I guess he can't really swim. This person here says, okay, maybe it's hormones, but this made me tear up. I feel awful for this fish and slightly violent towards whoever left him to be bullied like this. My local fish store has a five gallon tank full of rainbow sharks and they are absolutely ballistic. They eat each other alive, literally. And it's a sad thing to see. This reminded me of that. Poor fish. So after reading these comments, it seems like a lot of people don't even know what it is. There's a few people in the comments that said it's a rainbow fish and someone had mentioned that it might be a beta. I don't think that's a beta. I'm not sure what this is. So if anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment down below and let me know what your guess is. Okay, so this one here says shitty pet owner abusing axolotls. Oh man, that was a mean bite. Ooh, I had no idea those things were so fierce. Dang, he doesn't even want to let go of his finger. I've never kept axolotls before, I and mean, any time that I saw them at the local fish store, they were always just standing still. I had no idea that, that they would go after your finger. I gotta admit, that's kind of cute though. I don't see how he's trying to abuse his axolotls. Is it because he's touching them? I guess you're not supposed to touch them. Or uh, maybe I'm missing something. I've never kept axolotls before, so to me, they seem okay. They don't seem like they're in bad conditions. So if you've kept an axolotl before, let me know why you guys think he's abusing 
these fish right here. Next up, we got Pinterest is full of shit aquariums. This poor beta. Again, these are very popular in the shitty aquarium subreddit of uh, people putting betas in liquor bottles and small containers. You'll see a bunch of these in this subreddit. It's 120 gallons. Damn it, Craigslist. All right, so let's dissect this here. Let's see if this is really overstocked, all right? Because I have a 125 gallon tank and I got the similar amount of fish as this tank does. So we got four Oscars in here. Then we have a red tail catfish and we got a pleco and we got a iridescent shark over here and i'm not sure what this fish is right here i'd say the way it is right now is perfect for growing these guys out but in the long run like years down the road these guys are gonna need a much bigger tank and mr dr green thumb over here he's gonna have to eventually rehome these guys or give them a bigger home so he's gonna have to upgrade eventually which he's probably gonna do he probably knows that that's probably why he has these fish in the first place some people actually do that some people will get fish when they're small grow them out and they will upgrade their tank as they get bigger and bigger found this overstock 10 gallon on etsy advertising alexa controlled lights what's wrong with this thing it's ugly with the funky decorations but i mean what's wrong with it water looks pristine there's one angelfish in there which is good because if there was two in a small aquarium like that they would fight to death and kill each other or possibly injure each other so it looks like the stocking is at a good amount that looks like a 29 gallon tank maybe a 20 now a 20 is like bare minimum size for a angelfish for one angelfish but you can squeeze in a few smaller fish in there in my opinion some people maybe a lot of people will disagree but me personally I feel like this is a okay setup for the stocking in here the water is not dirty there's a filter there there's plenty of room for that angelfish by himself to swim around it looks like he's doing okay it doesn't seem like this tank is bad at all in my opinion it looks ugly but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad I was scrolling through Spock and found this all right so it just looks like a empty bear tank with a starfish and some platies I'm not sure what the deal with the starfish is but i'm hoping that that's decoration because i don't think there's any freshwater starfish out there so uh if that's a real starfish i think this person killed a starfish not the right place yo what's your dog doing in the aquarium bro get your german shepherd out of there what is going on why would you do that to your dog obviously the dog didn't go up there by himself somebody I put the dog in there I can't tell if there's water in there or not it looks like it might be empty I'm not sure so but still I mean why put your dog in there what if your dog you know is skittish or freaks out jumps out and injures itself or tips over the tank with its body weight a lot of things can go wrong that's not a joke right there you can put a small cat in there that would be funny cats love being in little boxes and small little tight spots but I mean a dog dogs they like to be in open spaces what's wrong with you overstocked he doesn't even have room to turn around in there the war on stupidity continues that's a beautiful beta not sure why they would put it in a liquor bottle though no what the hell okay wow yeah that's a pretty bad looking aquarium if this is your aquarium and somebody posted your aquarium on this subreddit and you feel like my opinions are rude or you think i'm being too critical i just want to say i'm sorry i'm just giving my opinions based off what i see in this picture maybe something happened to you in Life where you had to be away from home for a very long time you know maybe you just got caught up I'm hoping that's what it is but again I also have to mention the fact that a lot of people get 10 gallon tanks and then they put fish in there and then they decide that fish is not for them and they just completely neglect their tank I also got to consider that that's the possibility as well so if this is your tank feel free to comment down below and let me know your story behind this tank otherwise I gotta assume that you neglected this tank I've shown my tanks when they were pretty ugly too before when they were pretty dirty but show me one video of my tank where the water was pretty much brown or where it's like green but props to you for trying to rehome them dude common plecos are a shitty tank requirement amen to that brother plecos and goldfish two of the most abused neglected fish in the fish hobby definitely agree with you on that this person must also think that plecos are filters <laughs> Is that urine? But plecos are cleaner fish, right? So the water should be clean, huh? Overstocked, 29 gallon tank. I don't know. I don't think this one is overstocked. I think it's a little overstocked, but I'm gonna say that 
this is not a shitty aquarium. It looks like it's well taken care of. The water looks good. There's plants in there. The fish look healthy. The fish don't look like they are in any type of danger. That's just my opinion. You guys might have different opinions. That's just my opinion. Just based off of this picture alone. Everything he needs. Oscar fish with fish tank. I have an Oscar fish that I can no longer take care of. Looking for someone to buy him from me. Comes with fish tank and food. Has everything he needs. I don't have a car, so you would have to pick him up. $100 or best offer. So if you're selling all of this for $100, I can assume that that might be a 10 gallon tank or a 20 gallon high. But I'm also going to assume you probably bought that Oscar when he was just a tiny little baby from PetSmart or Petco. When they're being sold, they are the size of a feeder goldfish or maybe a little bit bigger. And you think, oh wow, what a cute little fish. You're probably thinking, oh, he's going to stay that way too. And then you buy them and then you start feeding them and then over the months, you start noticing that this fish is growing and growing and growing and getting way too big for the tank that you have them in. Three bluegills and a 10 gallon tank. What's up YouTube? Um, I haven't made a video in a long time. So I'm going to show you my pet bluegill. Pretty interesting. Yeah, so those fish get pretty big. That's definitely not a good size tank for the bluegills. For the person that made this video, if you still have those bluegills, please just put them back into the wild because they're not going to do well in that small aquarium. Ugh, poor turtle. Need a good home. Need for to a good home red slider turtle asking 40 for it. Well, I mean, at least he's trying to rehome the turtle. That's the only good thing that I can say about this picture. Rape my setup. Shoot, your setup is better than mine, but I actually had a setup one time that I was actually proud of. This is my 75 gallon tank where it was planted, and then here's my 125 gallon tank where it actually had some plants too and some driftwood, and it looked amazing. So I'm actually jealous of your setup. Not sure if you're a guy or a girl, but ma'am, sir, I love your setup. Poor stock choice. So you got goldfish with an angelfish, and then you got these two silverfish right here. Not too sure what those are, but definitely not the best looking combination of fish but can you make it work it's possible but I don't think it'll be possible with this aquarium in the long run just doesn't look like it's being cared for really well the water level is kind of low that's always a sign of neglect especially when it's that low in my opinion if you disagree with that you can definitely leave a comment down below or you can just dislike the video What's with people not filling the tank all the way up? I just don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either, man. All right, so this one here is just a link of a YouTube video. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on it and check it out. And it looks like he's feeding his fish, obviously. And they're eating, so I mean, that's a good sign. But a lot of those fish are gonna get massive. Like that Arapaima right there, that Arapaima fish right there. That alone needs its own tank of a thousand gallons. All of those fish need thousands of gallons of water, except maybe the Oscar. The Oscar you can probably keep in a hundred gallon or a hundred and twenty-five gallon. Um, they're not as fast growing as the other fish in there, but all the other fish in there, especially the Arapaima, they need their own tank. They need hundreds or thousands of gallons of water. Those things get super big. If you don't believe me, check this out. So just doing a quick Google search, it says right here, in short, they are among the world's largest freshwater fish, reaching as much as 9.8 feet. They are pretty big. I mean, just check out this picture right here. They get massive. Those things could literally kill you. Probably has been uploaded before. Yep, that fish is dead. That fish is gone. I hope this is not real. I mean, what's the idea behind that? Why are you doing that to that fish? Hamster and aquarium. I didn't go out and uh, buy any fancy tropical fish because I didn't. I don't really want to simulate an ocean. I want to simulate. All right, so that's crazy. I don't know how this guy did it. I mean, he probably explains it in the video. I didn't watch the whole thing. I'll leave a link down below. So you guys can watch this video. I'm going to watch this video after I get done recording this. My mind has been fucked right now. My head just exploded. This is a pretty cool video, I got to say. He put a hamster underwater with the fishies. And the hamster is alive and well. That is some crazy shit. You guys should definitely check out that video. Six fish. Dang, bro. What is that? Yeah, I mean, that's 
It's pretty ugly, I gotta say. You're probably selling it or moving it, I'm hoping. Green spotted puffer tank at Pet Supermarket. It's a sad sight. There's a lot of dead shrimp in there. I'm not sure if this is a serial killer green spotted puffer and he just killed all of these shrimp, but there's no way that one green spotted puffer did all that. I've tried to feed my green spotted puffer fish ghost shrimp and they weren't even able to catch these guys. So something tells me that these shrimp died for a reason and that reason was not because of this puffer. And also, is it just me or is the puffer his eye a little foggy so yeah i would say that this is not a good tank this is definitely a shitty tank those shrimp they're probably dying because there's a uh an issue with the water quality there hopefully it gets better hopefully they did something about it or something just went terribly wrong that was out of their control hopefully that puffer made it next level what the heck seriously does that mean that she's gonna walk around all day like that that's kind of gross and kind of cool at the same time what kind of fish are those i don't even know what kind of fish are those but dang hopefully they did that just for the video though hopefully she didn't actually go about her day with those two fish on her like that found this on the facebook group I'm part of looks a bit crowded and he's looking two more of a similar size I mean I can't even see how big that aquarium is anyone got any around that size want another two of them I can't say anything about this picture because I can't see the whole aquarium all I can see is some healthy Oscars and that's pretty much it so I'm not gonna say anything about this aquarium I can't say if it's shitty or not fresh fish for dinner in your own house I got some fish in my fridge. All right guys, I want you guys to check out this video real quick that I made a few months ago. It's a really cool video. I took a lot of time to edit, so just check it out. Hey everyone, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Ugh. All right, guys, we got the filter up and running. Pie break! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to watch more video. Check out the video that I just showed you just now by clicking on the card on the top right hand corner right here. I promise this video will not let you down. Check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.